Okay, we came out to Paramount Antique Mall to do some trading with Pastor Jean and um, he did me a whole box for $10. I'll show you in the recap what we got. It's so awesome. But then I want to, um, we're going to get a few other items here. So let's, I've got CJ and Emmy with me and let's go walk through the mall and see what we're going to get. I love these enamel pots. They are just awesome for making chicken and dumplings. It's one of a kind. Pull it towards you. Okay. And then CJ wants this. It's how much? It came out of okay. 702 and it's 75% off. We're, we're blocking the way. Yeah. And then C, CJ found this pair of praying hands here. And they're $20, but I don't know how much the discount in the booth was. So. I mean, you watch out behind you. Okay. I want to look in this booth here. They have, I think, 40% off in this booth. Yes. 40% off. I mean, we're down here. We have beautiful Wait, opals. Is that green glass back there by the blue one? Does that glow? No, that's slide glass. Crap. That's, uh, I think, an Avon bottle. Barnacles. Look at this cat. Oh my gosh. It's too adorable. Vintage yellow cat for $79. And then here's some smaller cats. This one's 14. This one's 9. Yeah. This one is 9. I never do orange one. Yeah. All right. Let's go look. Okay. This is the booth where CJ got the... Praying hands. No. The praying hands. So they were 70% off of whatever the price was on them 20 off of $20 right, Okay. They're from the 70s. Okay, so this booth has 60% off. So what type of name is that? How do you play it? I can't see that. Let me turn the tag over. See what it says. Well, darn it. Blue slag demi mug. Huh. They want $15 each for them. That's This is three piece gold trim and huh. See, 25 cents earrings. Huh. These are egg cups. That one's cute. I'm gonna go pick that up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then why are you? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shoplifting. Shulaski crystals. Oh, his head's broke off. Darn it. Eighty percent off, and it's only thirty bucks. You're cray cray. You're cray cray. You cray cray. Just like you. Oh, it says firm on it. What's firm? It says eighty, thirty dollars firm. That means it don't get the discount. Hmm. Well, they need to make their words bigger because tiny <laughs> people can't read, like um, me and Emmy. I can read. Ish. What's ish? That's what I said. Ish. What's ish? You guys can't read ish. <laughs> or you can read ish. I don't know what ish is, but. I've never tried to read ish. <laughs> is it a good book? I just found this very large Daisy and Buttons fitting or milk glass um, hat for two dollars. This booth is fifty percent off, so it said four dollars, so that makes it two dollars. This is metal; it's not pottery. They don't have a whole lot in this booth right now. Nickel coffee. I think these are the Morton salt and pepper shakers. Let me look here. Milk glass Dutch boy and girl salt and pepper shakers. This booth only has 40% off, but $99. That's way out of my price range. Somebody tell me how to make these, please. Doesn't say. It said Mitsu Tree Decanter. It's beautiful, but. Hey, this booth is 50% off. Agate blue glass children's tea set. It's only one piece of it. There's another half. Yeah, but do you dare to I don't know what that pattern is. Do you dare to drink my mysterious Westmoreland white diamond cut milk glass top hat. Seventeen dollars. Cool bracelet. Fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. 
This booth over here has 30% off. to Hudson Antique Market, Kellogg and Woodlawn. I've been there. Oh. I was there opening day. I'm sure they have a lot more booths in there now than they did the opening day. And let's do a check. And also, there's a riser right beneath you. That's a cake stand. Mm. I say breathe. Ooh, this is $22 with 30% off, so that'd be a little too high still yet. Lulu. Strawberry syrup for forty dollars. This booth is sixty percent off. This would be sound like a That's train. a train whistle thing. This is made in Occupied Bay. I'm sure the bowl was just missing its spoon. What? <coughs> it doesn't work. A jack in the box? Yeah. But I don't think it has the jack in the box. No. The jack without the box. Or box without the jack. Hey, this booth is 50% off. This looks like Blanco. I don't know. It's $65. Still too high. Acro Agate Pink. Scatty dog. I don't know. Something jar. It's got Scotty dogs. Some kind of jar. This says Wedgwood, but it is not marked Wedgwood. So, I am not going to say it's Wedgwood because you can get trouble. Just no living way. Okay, this booth is 75% off. Looking for. A certain kind of dish. I normally don't do dishes, but I was asked to look for dishes. Hmm? No. I have to get rid of some of the salt and pepper shakers I've got unless they're super, super special. Really? Mm hmm. I have to take time to start photographing stuff again. <laughs> we were looking over here. I found this Pillsbury Doughboy for 30% off. And then I have 
this book on depression glass. I don't know what the price on their books are. There's no tags on them, unless it's inside the cover. Oh, if they're two dollars. This is on depression glass. And this is glassware from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And this is kitchen glassware for of the depression years. What? Yeah, it's three dollars. This booth over here is only 10% off. Nineteen Yeah, they bought it from me. From you? Yeah, I had it for sale in my store. It's sixty percent off, and it's only forty bucks. Yeah, they got it from me for ten. For ten? Why sell at a high price? That's pathetic. Let me take a chill pill. How would we go back to the eighteen hundreds? Chilled. Okay, this shelf here has a praying hand. It's five dollars and it's sixty percent off. So I think we're gonna get that. Made in Japan. Makes that. This is crystal ashtray as is. What size is about it? Oh, it's got a big chip on it. Okay, this booth here has 60% off. This is like a, I don't know if that's classified as a head base. It's $8.50 at 60% off. We can get it on a chance. This says Gold Castle hand painted. Made in Japan. Oh wow. I don't think I have the patience for that. First and foremost, you have to put all the stinking nails in the right spot and then do something like that. You playing the video game? Yes, you are. Is that a crime? I'm waiting. Can I put this in the court, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't see anything Mary Mushrooms here. That wind is really blowing. You can hear it whistling. Forty-five dollars for that. Wow. This looks almost like Francoma. West Coast pottery. Eight 
Emmy's bored. Emmy's bored. Up the creek without a paddle. That's me, always. Silence and gold is golden unless you have kids and then it's suspicious. <laughs> I like that. I like that dresser right there. Mm. Jim Shore. $25 and 80% off. That's a beautiful Jim Shore dog. Somebody's lunch smells good. Right now, I think of lunch right now. You're always thinking of lunch. Yeah, you're right. Or supper. <laughs> supper is not until about midnight. Oh, please. You want supper at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, you always ask me what we want for dinner. No, that's not my question. Emmy, is that my question? No. That used to be watering cans. Oh, you do? Okay. All right, I think we're going to head to check out and see how much damage we've done. Off to Hutch. Our total spent in there was $42.85. But I got some good books on so I can help learn my glass. I'm excited for that. All right, and I'll show you the box that I got from Pastor Jean for $10. So, do something nice for someone and get lockered okay this is the recap of today's shopping trip at the paramount antique mall it's going to be a bit different than the other recaps because i'm not actually going to um because i'm going through this box that i got for the whole box for ten dollars plus the other items i purchased so it'll probably have well I the box I paid for it. all the jewelry is two dollars a piece because that's what I sell jewelry for. So the other items will be I'm going to say just to round it to five dollars a piece because I don't remember how many pieces are in here. So Let's go through this. First, we have this kind of chunky bead necklace with like rhinestones here and clear balls and metal ball beads. And just, it's a, a stretch bracelet. Next, we have this bracelet. It has a closure here like this and it's got white kind of swirly things on the clear beads with little gold beads in between. This is a rather small bracelet. I imagine it's probably for a six inch brace, wrist. This is like a tiger eye stretch bracelet. It's tiger eye beads and it's got a knot here. And then this one is black with clear stones. It's labeled black and diamond bracelet, but it is, I can guarantee those are not real diamonds. Um, just because there's no way for them to breathe from the back and diamonds have to breathe. Next is this pair of earrings with green balls on the bottom. They look like big wire hoops things. 
and then we have this pair of earrings they're just on a what is that a French hook and they're kind of a orangish brown color they're just pretty earrings next is this pair of earrings got little green balls at the bottom they are post earrings they're very pretty and then we have this necklace and earring set it has a like a brown stone and then there's like brown like tiger eye type stones goes up in there and kind of uh, opaque stone and then it has the two earrings with the black balls there let's see what I can I'm trying not to get them tangled up this necklace does not yeah it does it has a twist a barrel clasp here and it's got little daisies on it with kind of a off-white kind of stone in there and little beads it's a, not a really long necklace. Oh, they're tangling up. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. This is a real long chain, gold chain. And it has this heart pendant at the bottom. I don't see a way to open it. This would actually just go over your head once or twice or because it's like this long. It's a long chain. And it has this. This is just a beautiful heart. And then this one has black circles and rectangles and ovals and multi-strand well I guess there's two strands on each one because they're looped through and then it has this kind of a clasp on it be pretty over a sweater this one ah is really long as well. I'm going to try to double it. Sorry. All right, there we go. I've doubled it there. It's like, I don't know if it's homemade. It could be homemade. Looks like somebody braided the wire or the the chain through there and but it, it's a pretty pretty necklace next is this one it has this black and then it's got several strands here and it's got this kind of a closure. I believe I had one like this in my store at one time when I had my store. That isn't my writing. Um, this is just, it's a shorter necklace. It's very pretty. And then this one has this flower and it's on five strands of something and then it has this kind of a clasp up here at the top does it say anything on there I can't see it has can you make it out I can't make it out that's what that says and that's the necklace hanging there next 
we have this one that's like black and white. Chunky beads, I guess you'd call it. And it's got this kind of a clasp on it. And then how do I keep tangling these up? This one, I don't see a clasp on it. It's like it's just put together there. And it would be a pull over the head type necklace. It's kind of an orangish brown colored beads. And then this has earrings with it. They're like kind of gold beads and it's strands strung through the necklace there. These beads have a white on the ends of them. And then there's little metal ones in between there. And it has this kind of a clasp on it. Then we have this one that has this kind of an earring on it. And here's the chain and it's got a little thing that drops down from the from the necklace there. This tag's kind of in the way. It says red and orange bead necklace and earrings. And that's what that looks like. And then we got this one that's got black beads on these French hook earrings. And then it's got three or four strands four strands of beads and it's a rather short necklace it would be like a choker or for somebody that's really skinny but it does have a little extender here on the you can make it a little longer it has an extender there on the clasp so it could be a little longer and next we have this one is two strands this is the clasp on it and these are the beads on. They're kind of yellow. I mean, they're yellow. They don't. They're. They kind of look green. They kind of look yellow. But this is clear. These are yellow, and that's a yellowish. So there's that. And we looked at that one. And last for the jewelry. is this necklace. It's pretty. I think it's really pretty. It's got these little beads hanging off of it and then it hangs down like this. It's just pretty. It's got this kind of a clasp here like this and it just it's just so pretty. Okay that is all of the jewelry. I'm gonna move it aside. I'll have to untangle it again after a while. Now let's get to the other items out of this box. Like I said, they're going to be like $5 each. So this is, you can see the, it's a ceramic little bud vase with two handles. It says, guaranteed 22 karat gold USA. So that's what it says there. So it's, gold over white and it's a little two-handled bud vase this is a little looks like a bird bath 
I got these from Pastor Gene. And he's got these birds taped on here because they move and he didn't want to see they come off like that. They intentionally come off for cleaning. And they're four little birds there. I'm not going to untape all of them. But yeah, here's the little birds. They've got these little metal pegs here. And they sit on this. And this is a, you can hear it, kind of a marble type. But it, it's not marble. I, I don't know what it is. It's not resin. It's kind of a, a some some kind of a stone. I don't know if it says on the tag what it is. Vintage hand carved alabaster and marble pedestal bird bath with four birds, and that will be five dollars. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And then next is another one of these little drawers. This one looks like a bird flying. I had one a couple weeks ago that was a fish. And this is a pretty deep little drawer. And it's like a bird flying. I don't know if it says what kind of wood it is. It says wood bird box jewelry box. So, but it's just too adorable. I like it. And next is this opaque angel. She is a resin type. I'm going to guess that circle means made in China. But she's kind of got gold trim on her. And she is just absolutely adorable. I love her. Oops. Things are falling. And then Emmy found this cross while we were sitting there. And it's kind of wood with the gold going through it. It does stand on the table. I don't know if it's just pine. It just says wood and gold cross is all it says and it's just pretty and then I have this yellow I don't know if you can see the the yellow through it let me get a piece of paper here now you can see that it's yellow it's a yellow depression dinner plate. It will be $5. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. And I believe it's the princess pattern. I have a book that can tell me if I get to, if nobody claims it from this video and I look it up in the book, I'll have the right pattern for it. Let me move this. And I've got just a couple more pieces down here. This one is this out of the way. Fused glass. And it is it says fused art glass decorator plate with the weaved pattern. And I love it. It's kind of blue and clear. It's a square plate that's got you can see it's got a little depth to it, but it's just beautiful. That'd be so pretty with fruit on it. Or as a coffee table plate. And the last piece in this box is this opalescent. It says Northwood rose style opalescent glass footed dish and all of these are five dollars you can see that the gold is wearing off of the feet but that won't affect it when it's because it's just beautiful 
just beautiful. I don't have my light up here or I would see if it glows, but it is just beautiful. I like that. All right. Now that's all out of the box that I got for $10, but there was more from the antique. Oh, just a second. Okay, this is a pair of praying hands that is from Atlantic Mold. And it says to Auntie and Uncle Jack, Christmas 1973, with love, Robin Sherry. So, yeah, it's kind of personalized. And I didn't notice that when we bought it. But we did only pay like five dollars for it so it's gonna be eight dollars and they're very well you can see the detail really well in the hands but it's pretty and then a lot of people asked me for the Pillsbury Doughboy so I got him I think we paid three dollars for him so he'd be six dollars he's like a beanie does it say what year it is? Yeah, it does, but I can't say it. 1987. I believe that's 1997. Pillsbury Doughboy. And it has the tag on it. The tag says the date of birth was 1965. So, that's the Pillsbury Dope Boy. And this I don't know if this classifies as being a head base. I paid like five dollars for it. I think it was in the video how much it was and she's just a little girl that has a spot in the top of her head so she's pretty I don't know who makes her I don't know anything about it other than I saw it and I got it just a minute let me unwrap this Okay, next is this set of praying hands. I'm holding it up to the purple canvas because it, you can't really see it on the floor like that. So it's the praying hands in this little stand, and I think I paid four dollars for them, so they would be seven dollars. And this is a Viking glass, it's a little ashtray nut dish whatever you wanted to use, drop your rings in at night you know that kind of amber nut dish it has a piece of tape in there that's not a hole that's tape where it had a sticker on it. i think i paid four dollars for it this is a large daisies and buttons hat um it's milk glass and I paid I think four dollars for that as well with the discount in the booth I think it was only four dollars so it would also be seven dollars and then CJ wanted this SeaWorld dolphin toothpick holder to put in his room because he wanted the orca whale sounds like the kids are coming in I have one of these pots here that's about this tall. Hello, Edward. Welcome to the show. It's about this tall. It was my mom had it ever since I can remember. And I bought this one from Pastor Jean's booth so that I can have the lid because I use, my, make, use it to make chicken and dumplings. And when I make it in the other pot, even if it's just me and CJ, I have to make the pot full. I don't know. It's a mental thing, I guess. But this way I won't make as much. And then 
we didn't have anything to put the jewelry in so pastor jean just gave me this little plastic this little basket and it has a precious moments girl on it it says it's time to bless your own day so i have this basket as well these are items from a trip to the goodwill afterwards So there is the recap. If you see something you'd like, please leave a comment in the bottom of the video telling me what you'd like. And you can do a timestamp. All you got to do is put like 23 colon 10 and it'll come to this point right here in the video. Type out what is, is behind it. You can just put brown necklace or bobble earrings. I don't care. Just put, make sure you got the timestamp number so that I know what to go look in. I can look at that item and I can get it. And so, and you get everything. The prices I've told you, jewelry's two dollars. Everything else is already. I told you the price three dollars above what I paid for. It. If I paid something different in the video. Call me out on it because I do not remember and at the antique mall they tear the tags off so I can't um, remember exactly what I paid for something. So, um, yeah, and the receipt says booth number, whatever, and price. So, uh, yeah. So, if you see something you'd like, just let me know and... Um, this is my niche. This is what I do. I shop for you. Do something nice for somebody. Even if it's just make them smile. And get locked.